I'm Matt Trassen. I'm here with Coding for Fun for the November 7th Visual Studio launch. And they asked us to come and show off some of the fun things that you can do with the technology. And what we did is we brought some of our robotics projects. And we are Fidgets USA, and we are actual resellers of the actual Fidgets products line. How did you start building robots? Nobody builds robots. For fun. Yeah. <laughs> for fun. That's cool. Actually, it's, um, we're very big in the schools, and we're very large with the schools that want to teach programming through robotics. And robotics actually was, you know, in the realm of electronics engineers for a long, long time. Look at those things. And now... People, what was the first robot you built? Uh, these arms, actually. That was it, really? Yeah. That's cool. These arms. We'll make it move for you. It was um, the fact that we found the, the fidget line technology and discovered that you could, you know, control electronics from you know, USB components that allowed you to use code. So instead of your logic being on the board itself, the logic is actually on the computer. And the wonderful thing about that is that it opens up, you know, first of all, it releases computer programmers from being confined to the computer screen. Mm -hmm. And it also releases electronic engineers from having to be coding on a board. I mean, you have a full development environment here. As you can see, you know, we're rendering the arm on the screen itself. We're doing input from... Oh, cool. Yeah, we're actually doing, uh, we're doing uh, input from the joystick using DirectX, which is another familiar thing. Yeah. And the sky's the limit on what you can do with this. Like we put sensors on here so that we can know how much it's gripping and get feedback from that. And then we put sensors on our fingers. If we wanted to, we could control from our hand and squeeze open and close. And then you'd know whether or not you're picking up an egg or picking up a Coke can. That is cool. The other one we're playing with here is the... DirectX video camera. Uh, see this little webcam here? Yes! And you can see yourself up here. Oh, that is great. This is just a small sample of what we have. We actually have a lot more. So how do um, people implement this? Like, you're, you're building technology that can be, at least make people think. Yeah. This is for right and left brain thinkers, you know? It's for creative as well as technical. And they actually can access all of this stuff through uh, the code. And so these things show up as an object in the code um, through a library. So for instance, this is a servo controller. You'd write servo controller dot motor position, uh, parenthesis, pick the port you want, because there's four that can be on here, and then the motor position itself. So you'd say 128 if that's the degree you wanted to go to. So like real quickly how this works is we're using DirectX to read the events in from the joystick so that we know if you're going up or down. Well, let me grab the right joystick. If you're going up or down, Check this out here. What we're really doing is plotting the X and Y of that dot right there, which is the wrist. Okay? And then we're also plotting what angle we want the wrist to be at. And so what happens is we run through a uh, called inverse kinetics mm -hmm. to figure out what the position of the arm is. And then we go ahead and just send those new positions out to the servos through this, the servo controller. It's actually very simple. This kind of technology was never around before. Um, you had to be an electronic engineer and know how to operate with servos on your own. And instead now, the fidgets kind of are a bridge component to take care of that for you. Was it the, the latency caused by slower processors that made this undo, like you couldn't understand Well, this actually what, what made it difficult before is kind of the foggy realm of, of understanding how to communicate through COM. You know, to do uh, the inputs and outputs from the actual electronics to the programming languages. So what fidgets do is they take the programming languages and give you an object there to deal with, that actually translates down to the actual signals that are on these wires. Right. So it's that bridge between those two worlds, electronic engineering and actual programming, that's solved from using these components. And I wish we had another display here. Um, they went ahead and left it in Chicago, so we don't have it. So what are the obvious bifurcations of this kind of technology moving forward in your mind? Moving forward with this stuff um, is for quick prototyping. It's for the robotics we think that are going to move over to the PC and we are actually rolling out an entire line of products for that, which will allow people to start using... No, so is you talking about USB robots? Yeah, actually what it would be is the robots are actually, um, com you know, they're, they're modularized now. So you can right. just throw together your sensors, like here's your motion control in one uh, set of sensors. So you throw a camera on top, you have this pan and tilt on yeah. there. You'll actually have people that can start programming robots in their houses. And like the next 
robot that's going to blow everyone away. You're programming a robot in your house, probably. Um, actually, what I'm doing is building the robots so that I can give them to all the people who are smarter than I am. I got gotcha. you. So and what, then they'll come up with all kinds of good ideas, That's too. right. That's right. right. Because you think about it, the garage inventor, you know, the basement uh, engineer is going to be the person who comes out with the next generation of robots that's, that blows us away. People far smarter than I am. What I do is I kind of solve all the pain in the butt stuff, like how the motion control works and the sensors. Well, there's got to be an unfamiliar quantity of people that are thinking about robots anyway. Well, we just came from a robotics show, and it's oh, just it's cool. phenomenal how many people are out there and who want to uh, get into this kind of stuff. Do they keep all their secrets until they get to the show, and you go, what did they do that? Well, it's funny because everyone Sony, else is... You know, they have the big walking thing that walked around. Yeah, they actually, they had a lot of dancing robots out there. Um, High Tech Servo was out there, and they had a whole bunch of them that would dance together to show off their new robot. And it's funny because everyone's pushing their own standards, and, and you have a lot of competition going on. And eventually the, a washout will happen and people will start moving towards certain standards that everyone can share. But I think over the next 10 years you're going to see a major revolution in robotics that was never there before because the PC is now cheap enough um, for the layman to use and the technologies such as things like fidgets are, are there. I mean, it's, it's really a mature that's great. So um, how do people find out more about what you're doing and robots? And well, the best way is to stop by the website, which is fidgetsusa.com, and that's P-H-I-D-G-E-T-S-U-S-A.com. You find us on the web and come look at the projects we have and the robotics things that you can play with. Can we buy any of this stuff now? Yeah. this um, You can buy this kit right now. This guy will be ready in about a month. And then we're going to have a Hexabot and a Wheelbot car ready in by mid-winter probably. And then all the components you can buy right now. We have all those. We have sensors. You can have motion sensors, set up home security. You can have your light switches attached to it. Um, another thing that we think people are going to do is the home automation. Oh, yeah. Which okay, is, man, that's what I want to do is home automation. We actually have, um, we're taking and putting a wrap around the Microsoft Speech SDK. And it's allowing people to very easily add that into their programs so that you can say, for instance, um, computer, and it'll respond yes. You say lights, bedroom, activate, and the light switch goes on, just like that. And you can uh, operate your thermostat in your house. You can say computer, thermostat, set, 85 degrees, and bang, the temperature goes up in your house. And so we are really excited about that because that's going to allow people to take, you know, for instance, like their media center PCs at home and start upgrading them to interact with the house. So if you want to interact with your lights, uh, your thermostat, and things of that nature, or your security system, you can use things like fidgets as your bridge in between, and all you have to do is know how to code. So you think about it, for every electric, electric engineer there is out there, there's a thousand people who know how to program. Oh, yeah. You know, it's the, it's the popular technology that people know how to work with, and so we're helping bring some of the other electronics realm up to that technology, where so really people know how to work with it. That's really cool.